questions being put, and I invite those members who wish to speak in this debate to please press the request to speak buttons now or as soon as possible. Mr McCaskill, if you'd like to open the debate, you have seven minutes or thereby, please. Officer, I thank members from all sides of the chamber for supporting my motion. It's as it should be, as Caring and Craig Miller are an outstanding organisation who act without fear or favour, political partiality or prejudice for the welfare of the elderly, not simply in Craig Miller but throughout East Edinburgh. And this debate also affords me an opportunity to not just praise an outstanding local organisation but flag up a national issue and hopefully input some lessons learned that could be emulated elsewhere. Caring and Craig Miller is a truly remarkable organisation and will detail some of its work in history. And moreover, care of the elderly is one of the major issues of our time, one that's trying local and national government and testing communities. Like every member, I'm fortunate to have innumerable voluntary organisations in my constituency, too many to mention individually, but collectively they make the community a much better place. They do it through input of time and effort, often for no paid remuneration and in other instances going well beyond contracted hours or job specification. We are blessed by them. I have a soft spot for Caring and Craig Miller, who I have gotten to know during my nine years as a constituency member. They have come a long way and operate in a community that has had more than its fair share of challenges. For many years, it was synonymous with poverty and deprivation. Caring in Craig Miller is the welfare arm of the Craig Miller Festival, an organisation itself now over 50 years old. That sprang from the community and remains rooted in it. The Festival Society and its constituent organisations was a template for others to follow. It's testament to what can be done by good people with energy, drive and ideas. They were intent on overcoming the obstacles faced by many to allow chances for all. And in that, they have succeeded for countless and are witness to how communities can take control of their own destiny and help shape their own future. The modern buzzword is social capital, but I prefer to describe it as heart and soul. Craig Miller has that in abundance, and Craig Miller, Caring and Craig Miller are the embodiment of it. It has now run for a generation and expanded from daycare to the provision of a phone link service, proving invaluable to many, scattered across the city, but often isolated in their own homes. It's one of the longest serving daycare projects in the city. It provides over 34,000 hours of care to individuals in a group setting annually. It's one of only two Saturday daycare projects and also provides a Wednesday evening additional needs club. The phone link care service takes place twice daily and makes upwards of 80,000 annual calls. The organisation regularly attracts funding, allowing it to top up the work of the Council Award. It has replaced one community bus and raised half the funds for a second one. The work is outstanding, but it is also expanding. They are required to move from their former premises at 63 Nidri Mains Terrace several years ago, but are now returning. Not only is it in many ways their spiritual home, but it provides premises far more suitable for current and future needs. It is a place known to the community given its long history and one that is cited centrally. It was first opened in 1936 by the University Settlement and dubbed Craig Miller College. It is fitting that they should return there. This will create a new open access community facility to serve the growing regeneration. Craig Miller has been undergoing redevelopment. Houses were knocked down, ripping the very heart out of the community. Thankfully, new homes are now appearing. The old community is returning and being joined by new arrivals from all parts. It's necessary to have the facilities to serve that community, and it's therefore right that caring and community become the principal tenant of these centrally situated premises. They do so with a dedicated staff and management board. It would be remiss not to mention Mids Lamb, the general manager, and Peter Calvey, the daycare manager. They've been with the organisation collectively for more years than they may care to remember, but it's been forged by them and often on an anvil of considerable difficulties. Craig Miller is a better place for the work they've done within it and the wider community, and I'd like to record my thanks and appreciation for the excellent work they 
and all staff have done. Now let me move on to aspects that, whilst replicated elsewhere, are worthy of consideration for wider use. Care of the elderly is one of the major issues of our time. An increasing ageing population is a good thing. Gone are the days of deaths within months of retiral and little chance to enjoy twilight years at the end of an extensive working life. However, it brings challenges for us as a society. As well as the elderly population extending, the nature of our communities is also changing. Families are more likely to be separated from each other, with generations living apart, not just in different households, but different communities and sometimes different countries. Craig Miller is maybe more fortunate than many, but still faces challenges. Integration of health and social care is the right thing to do, but the challenges are considerable and not just financial. There have been, understandably, private sector operations that have seen an opportunity to provide a service and care of the elderly. They are needed. Many do an excellent job, though some sadly at the expense of their workforce. Others, and thankfully few, can be entirely undesirable and need weeded out by statutory agencies. The benefit and lesson of caring in Craig Miller is that it's from and for the community. It's a charity operated by the community, staffed in the main by the community, and working for the self-same community. That reduces costs, but brings innumerable intangible benefits. The extension of a phone link service is a medium of modern technology being used to benefit a community often marginalized, if not excluded. Whilst nothing can compare with a face-to-face -face engagement, this offers reassurance to family and companionship to many elderly housebound or alone. It can ensure that vulnerable individuals can be monitored and also affords conversations so vital to the human spirit. Its cost is significantly cheaper than a personal attendance, and whilst it should never be a substitute for personal attention, it does offer additional benefits. So, Deputy Presiding Officer, can I thank Caring and Craig Miller for their sterling work and offer their model as a template to the Minister for others. This may well be my final speech in this chamber and the Parliament, in which it's been a privilege to serve, I thank all staff and colleagues of each and every party. It has been an honour and a privilege. I may not be returning here to Holyrood, but I most certainly will be doing so in and around Craig Miller, and definitely to caring in Craig Miller. Hey, thanks. I now call on... Sandra White, to be followed by Hanzala Malik. Four minutes or thereby, please, Ms White. Uh, thank you very much, President Officer, and can I congratulate Kerry McCaskill uh, for bringing this uh, motion forward. And can I also say that, uh, whilst we're talking about elderly groups, and certainly Kerry and I are not that elderly, uh, has been a, and Linda Fabiani says we're not that young either, but we'll see her after about that. Uh, for me it's, and, and others, it has been an absolute honour and pleasure to work alongside Ken McCaskill for the many, many years, not just being elected to this parliament, but for the many years I worked alongside him in the Scottish National Party before we were elected. It's been a, a great pleasure and I know Kenny has worked tirelessly, not just for Craig Miller, but for the area in Edinburgh. Uh, which he represents, and for others as well, which obviously you know, a lot of people don't know about, but behind the scenes, Kenny has done such a lot of work, and for me, it's been a great privilege to know him as a colleague, and I hope I can say a friend as well. And what Kenny didn't say, and I, I just want to mention this uh, from the Craig Miller people, at the very end of a couple of points uh, they sent to me, they mentioned, finally, we could not have done it without you, Kenny. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Thank you. That's the last one in that particular bit. So thank, thank you very much for that, Kenny. Uh, uh, Kenny McCaskill mentioned that himself and other MSPs have many groups in their area who do sterling work for the elderly in their community. And likewise, I think we all have, and I certainly have also. So I can't mention all of them. So I, I want to concentrate on one particular group in, in my area, 
and that's Glasgow Old People's Welfare Association, or GOPA, we call it for short, which celebrated its 68th year uh, just two weeks ago, uh, helping the people of, of Glasgow. Uh, they worked tirelessly for the older people in Glasgow. They've got more than 1,000 volunteers who give their time. Uh, there are daycare centres throughout Glasgow, residential homes, sheltered accommodations, neighbourhood visiting services, outreach services, and over 100 weekly clubs. They do form filling, they give advice and information, and many other services which benefit uh, senior citizens in Glasgow. And Sheena Glass and her team uh, are to be commended for all the work which they're doing. It's a privilege for me to be able to know them and work with them. Also, they, they run the Old People's Welfare Association and David Cargill Centre, very uh, programme of activities, Mondays to Fridays, armchair exercises, music, general knowledge quizzes, bingo. They also support the Donald Dewar Centre, which is in the, the northwest of Glasgow. They've been doing that for 22 years. Uh, they arrange transport to bring the older people uh, to the centre to enjoy activities, entertainment, lunch, and uh, the, the, the staff at the centre are absolutely fantastic, as they are at uh, David Cargill Centre also. And they fundraise for the older people to be able to go and visit to museums and theatres. And as Ken has already mentioned, uh, in regards to you know, the small buses, it's very, very important that they get transport. And a community bus is a lifeline for uh, the older people there. Um, as I said, they, they, they do such a lot of good work, uh, tea dances, throughout all of the communities. Uh, you know, basically, they, they embrace all the cultures within our area, within Glasgow, and uh, they collaborate with existing services to make it much more acceptable and compatible. And just recently, we work along with the... the um, the Muslim people who live who live next door, who live in the, the Woodlands area, I think Hansel Malik will possibly uh, know that as well, because he's been involved also, and they hold uh, club nights to bring the elderly of all the community together. So, in echoing what Kenny said, without these people, we wouldn't know what we could do. They do such a lot of work. But once again, I want to congratulate Kenny, and um, good luck in the future, Kenny. I know it's your last day. Uh, your, your last contribution, uh, but I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of you. Thank you very much, President Officer. Thank you. Now call on Hans Ala Malik to be followed by Nanette Milne. Thank you very much and good evening, Presiding Officer. Um, I would like to thank Kenny McCaskill for securing today's debate about caring in Craig Miller. Um, may I also say that uh, Kaz Dugdale MSP sends her apologies for not being able to join us today and wishes the very best to the organization and she recognizes the good work that they do. I also join her and like to congratulate the organization, organization, its staff and volunteers for the truly local community spirit that they have in their organization. And I want to say well done to them. The value that third sector organizations such as Caring in Craig Miller provides provide people who are elderly, uh, disadvantaged, and suffer from isolation uh, is priceless. I think sometimes we don't consider the value that they actually bring to our communities, because I can assure them, as well as the people who benefit from their provision, that local authorities and governments just aren't capable of providing that level of one-to-one -one service that they do. And I personally feel indebted to organizations such as that. It is particularly important that daycare facilities are in local areas. I think that uh, uh, phone line service, which gives a morning and evening phone call to people in need, is a clear way of reducing isolation. We, know, we always underestimate the need that people have and I, I know for a fact, through constituent experiences, that any contact is always very welcome because it reassures people in their daily lives. In my own constituency, elderly care groups like Asra, Mail Malab, Shanti Bhavan, Chinese Daycare Center, and the Old People's Association all play a very vital role in providing support and help for community groups. And many such groups are making a real difference to the lives of elderly people in our communities. 
which I thank them for, uh, for all the hard work that they do do. Presiding officer, one of the things that many of us tend to overlook is the amount of hard work that is done by volunteers. I know that sometimes they're accused of, for being busybodies and interfering, and, but you ask the people who actually receive the service, they tell you a completely different story of how valuable those services are and how they value those, those contacts. I must say the third sector are the backbone of our society today, and we should never be shy to respect them, recognize the contribution they make to us, and thank them for all the contributions they make to us. So I once again say to all the volunteers and staff, community groups, please keep up this very valuable work. Kelly McCaskill has recognized one such group, and quite rightly so, for the good work that they do. I've seen it up on the website, and I'm pleasantly surprised that so, such good work is being done. It needs to be cons consistently supported. And Cass Dugdale has also promised that she will always be there for this organization as well, because she recognizes the good work that they do do. I, to finish off, presiding officer, just want to make one very personal point, and that is that I genuinely, truly wish all the third sector organizations who make such a valuable contribution to our society the very best, and I, like many other of my colleagues, will always be there to support them. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks. I now call on Dr. Nanette Milne, after which move the closing speech from the Minister. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. And can I also congratulate Kenny McCaskill for securing what I now know will be his last debate um, before he retires as the member for Edinburgh Eastern. And can I also wish him well for the future. The motion before us tonight is obviously very much a constituency-focused one, with Caring and Craig Miller being a grassroots support service which aims to help those who are elderly, disabled or vulnerable at a dedicated care centre. As a North East MSP, I don't mind admitting that I was not aware of the group or its activities. However, I have been very interested to learn about its work over the last 15 years and the apparently positive contribution it makes to providing assistance to the most vulnerable people in the east of this city. I noticed in the motion it talks about the phone link service, which has operated since 1998. And I'm told that this was originally funded by a grant from the Craig Miller Priority Partnership, which was established and funded by the then Conservative Scottish Secretary Michael Forsyth in 1995. This was part of the Conservative Government's innovative work to tackle poverty. I further understand that much of the Craig Miller Festival Society's work at that time was funded through European Objective 2 and European Social Funds, again, I believe, secured by Michael Forsyth and the Conservative Government. And perhaps Mr McCaskill will correct me if this wasn't the case. Um, one, of, one of the key objectives of Caring and Craig Miller is to combat loneliness and isolation by providing group activities and outings, facilitating social interaction and providing new opportunities to make friends. This is important because, as we know, loneliness and isolation affect an increasing percentage of elderly and socially disadvantaged citizens. But they also affect people with disabilities, people with a range of long-term conditions, people restricted physically, psychologically and socially, all may experience isolation and loneliness. And of course, many elderly people live alone due to bereavement, with many more having little or no contact with family or friends. Centres which provide respite from these circumstances are vital to the well-being of our most vulnerable people in society. I think it's telling that in an age when so many channels of communication are available to people, there's still a significant problem with social isolation and loneliness in Scotland today. We should all remember that this is everybody's problem, which shouldn't be ignored or tolerated, and that a change in attitude is required in our society if its impact is to be reduced. The motion also looks at how Caring and Craig Miller can be a model for other organisations to follow. But of course, as we've already heard, a large number of excellent projects and community activities are already in place in many parts of Scotland to identify and tackle the widespread issues of social isolation and loneliness. And I feel I should mention one in my own region. The Aberdeenshire Signposting Project works with people affected by or at risk of developing low to moderate mental health problems to increase their level of social contact and to increase their usage of locally available leisure and educational facilities 
by putting people referred to the project by GPs and others in touch with sources of appropriate uh, support, help and advice. Obviously, all such support services, including Caring and Craig Miller, need to be assessed on a regular basis so that proper standards of care are being given to the local community's most vulnerable people and that there should always exist enhanced staff and volunteer training programmes to ensure the highest standards of care. To do otherwise, I think, would defeat the purpose of such groups and organisations. So, I, again, I thank Kenny McCaskill for bringing Caring and Craig Miller to the attention of Parliament by sponsoring this evening's debate to highlight an important project in his constituency. And, of course, I wish him well in his future endeavours after he leaves this place. Thank you, Presiding Officer. And thank you very much. And I now invite uh, Minister Jimmy Hepburn to close the debate on behalf of the Government. Seven minutes or there, my Minister, please. Thank you very much, President Officer. Can I join with others in uh, beginning by thanking Kenny McCaskill for bringing uh, forward this debate uh, this evening. As he has uh, set out, this is uh, likely to be his last uh, contribution in this part. It would be uh, remiss of me not to uh, make comment as he prepares for a new life outside uh, this place after... 17 years of tirelessly representing his constituents, first in the Lothians and since 2007 as the constituency representative, first of all for Edinburgh Eastern Musselburgh and latterly Edinburgh Eastern. He was incidentally the first member of the, the SNP, my party, to win a constituency seat in Edinburgh. I want to avoid the President Officer commenting on whether he and Sandra White fall into the definition or the category of being elderly. That would only serve to get me into trouble, I suspect. But I do want to reflect on the fact that in his time uh, in, uh, as a member of uh, this uh, Scottish party, he has made a, a significant, a substantial uh, contribution to a civic and political life. And indeed, that contribution began even before he was elected, uh, helping to shape uh, my party as a, a modern uh, political uh, force. As, of course, as a uh, cabinet secretary for Justice, a, a job he described as the only one he ever wanted in government, which he held with distinction for uh, seven years that he will be best remembered. He took forward in that time far reaching reforms in the courts and judiciary, as well as reform of the fire service and the creation of Police Scotland in 2013. He be, also began reform of penal policy, particularly how we treat women and young offenders. He took a particular interest in making sure that young people have positive opportunities to use their energies. Many thousands of Young people in Scotland have benefited from life-changing opportunities as a result of cash back for communities, which of course seizes money from criminal networks and reinvests it in projects or new infrastructure to provide a diversionary activity. And as Minister for Sport, I've been able to visit many locations benefiting by that investment. For all his achievements in ministerial office, I'm sure it is as an outstanding a constituency representative that he will want to be uh, remembered though and uh, in that sense it's uh, very apt that his last contribution to this parliament is on an important uh, matter within his uh, constituency I'm very uh, pleased to be able to close this debate on uh, caring and Craig Miller it's been uh, very gratifying to hear so many positive stories about the uh, care our older people and those with disabilities and support needs are receiving in Craig Miller and East Edinburgh I think we would be hard pressed not to be impressed by the uh, scope of their work, which, as Kenny McCaskill set out, continues to expand and grow. Caring and Craig Miller provides a, an invaluable service to older people and people with learning disabilities who would be uh, more so socially isolated in their community without it. And I would uh, like to add my congratulations uh, to them on receiving this well deserved recognition uh, today. Caring and Craig Miller, as Kenny McCaskill has set out, aim to combat loneliness and isolation by providing a, a range of group activities and outings, uh, facilitating social interaction, providing uh, new opportunities to, to make friends. They provide an excellent service to their clients running projects and activities six days a week, including outings and holidays. Caring and Craig Miller's Wednesday Club helps those with disabilities to meet and interact with new people and participate in social and fundraising activities, improving their social skills and, as a result, becoming more integrated into their uh, local community. And the men's group which they support has regular uh, days out uh, uh, often uh, with a lunch and a meal at the centre in the evening uh, bring together people who are at risk of becoming isolated from their community uh, these uh, services are hugely uh, important and it's great uh, that Edinburgh East 
uh, benefits uh, by them. It would, of course, be great if every community uh, had such. We know that many communities are lucky, lucky to benefit by similar projects. It was very instructive to hear Sandra White talk about uh, the experience in her own uh, constituency. And I can certainly say from my uh, own constituency, we're very fortunate to have common old action care for the elderly that provides similar services. And I think Hans Alan Malik was very right to make the point that such organisations and their volunteers are the backbone of our uh, society. I want to talk about uh, Caring and Craig Miller's uh, phone link uh, service, just as in Annette Milne uh, did. It, it uh, is an important service, providing a, a lifeline for those uh, vulnerable people in their area, area, checking on them in the morning and evening, providing not only reassurance that someone will be alerted if they are ill or uh, have a, a fall, but also providing a friendly ear uh, for a chat, something we know is so uh, important to a, a person's uh, well-being. Whilst I haven't uh, had the uh, pleasure of visiting uh, Caring and Craig Miller, and I should uh, say even at this uh, stage, if it's appropriate for me to do so in the future, I'd be very happy to uh, visit them. I have uh, seen at first hand the benefit of such a, a similar uh, phone link service as I visited the Good Morning Service in Springburn uh, last year, uh, who provide a very similar uh, service. And from that experience, it was clear to me that uh, the many service users who benefit by such uh, are being provided with a very important uh, service uh, indeed. Kenny McCaskill touched on uh, the uh, issue of our changing demographics, the challenge to providing care in such a, a context. And indeed, he posits in his motion, as was picked up uh, by Nanette Milne, that uh, caring in Craig Miller is a, a model of uh, good practice for other uh, parts of the country to learn from. Let me uh, be very uh, clear, uh, presiding officer, where uh, there's good practice, such as we see uh, through uh, caring and Craig Miller services, uh, such as we see through other local organisations providing uh, similar services. We will always be very keen as an administration to roll out that best practice to ensure that other areas uh, learn from it and it can benefit by similar uh, services. We are investing in some uh, similar uh, approaches. We are uh, addressing loneliness and isolation right now. And Alec Neill, the uh, Cabinet Secretary for Social Justice, Communities and Pensioners' Rights, has recently announced an additional £250,000 towards tackling loneliness and isolation. This includes £80,000 to Aid Scotland, which they will distribute to their local group Scotland wide to use towards lunch clubs and other social events such as classes and tea dances. £34,000 has been awarded to Age Scotland for a specialist post for their uh, phone service called uh, the Silver Line. So we will always do what we can to replicate good practice on the ground. I want to assure uh, Kenny McCaskill and other members of that we greatly value uh, the work of uh, Caring and Craig Miller, the many similar organisations uh, around the country. We seek to learn from that experience and roll it out uh, further. So let me uh, conclude by uh, thanking Kenny McCaskill again for uh, bringing forward this debate to highlight the important work being done by Caring and Craig Miller, allowing us to hold it up as a great example to other areas of what can be done to help tackle loneliness and isolation in our communities uh, in Scotland. Let me also wish uh, Kenny McCaskill all the best uh, the the, for the future. Kenny, you'll be very much missed in this chamber. Uh, I know you have said you uh, don't intend to be a stranger to the community of Craig Miller. Uh, please don't be a stranger uh, to this uh, Scottish Parliament as well. Uh, I look forward to being able to continue to work with Kenny McCaskill in the future, albeit in a different context. And I'd like to wish him all the best for the future, President Officer. Thank you. And thank you very much. And thank you all for taking part in this important debate. And I now close this meeting of Parliament.